How can you quantify 6,402 lives lost? That is the question a group of Colombian activists are asking spectators to reflect on. If we draw a direct line of one body after another, even if it is metaphorical, we are talking about 12.5 kilometers worth of dead bodies. Citizens of Bogotá and bystanders are invited to participate by painting their silhouettes across Bogotá's city sidewalks. The silhouettes represent the people killed who are misidentified as guerrilla fighters by the Colombian military. Colombia's transitional justice court said between 2002 and 2008, at least 6,402 citizens were murdered and then falsely declared rebels, committing fraud to inflate the number of combat kills. Earlier this month, former President Juan Manuel Santos testified at Colombia's Truth Commission about the extrajudicial killings. He had served as Minister of Defense under then-President Álvaro Uribe Vélez when the killings were uncovered. Santos asked for forgiveness and said pressure to produce high kill counts during the war against leftist guerrillas was to blame. For Jacqueline Castillo, the sister of a victim of these murders, the apology by Santos was well received, but she is still looking for more in-depth answers from the military. To have them recognize that they were not guerrilla is important. That is something we have always fought for. But in the end, we are not convinced by the complete testimony, and we want them to speak to us, something that the higher-ups in the military are afraid to do. Each family looking for answers that might help fill a void left by the death of their loved ones. El pueblo se respeta, Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota, Colombia.